Hey guys, before this video starts, make sure to give it a like. Uh, this is going to be a series type video, so I wouldn't necessarily call it a vlog, but it's going to be kind of on the lines of that. Um, and I'm going to be sitting down and talking to you guys about my experience in Disney. Just make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you like Disney. Comment down below what your favorite park is, and let's get into the video. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Overnight, Disney, ABC's parent company, announcing they are closing Walt Disney World in Orlando and Disneyland Paris through the end of the month. This morning, enjoying the attractions at Disney World, no longer a figment of anyone's imagination. Park goers getting their first taste of rides and lines in a socially distanced environment. How are we looking? Let's jump in. We parked in the handicap parking, so we were pretty close. The whole new intro walkway is beautiful. When we got there, it was a little bit cloudy, so these that you're seeing right now are the temperature screenings that they have at the parks before you walk in. For this park specifically, for my first experience with the temperature screening, fine. You walk up, they have the tapes down on the ground with the six feet of distance, wait your turn, they wave you up, um, and just like this shaky cam footage shows, one, two, boom, you're done. There's my lovely girlfriend. Security also, the running theme of all the parks is the tape. There's tape on the ground. Please wait here, six feet in front of you, please wait here. We were all in a group, so we stood in between them. I stood behind one, did that. These are the face shields, um, along with their masks. This is the first look I got at them. Yeah, and then we just jump right into the to the main part of the park, which now is, since the last time I've gone, now what they have instead of the Great Movie Ride, which is what they opened recently, was Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. And for their line, they had it loop around the stage, up onto the stage, and then down, and you do kind of a loop to you, kind of a snake all the way around, which you can see, hello, um, which you can see going around everywhere there. This is something I was very interested in seeing. They opened their water fountains. They didn't close them. Everywhere else I've kind of seen has closed the water fountains. I don't know the, all the facts about the water fountains and the COVID situation, but I feel like that was something to kind of address. I'm not hating on, probably should preface this. I'm not hating on Disney and I'm not hating on their systems or anything they're doing. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just on the side of the people who want COVID to be over so life can kind of go back to normal. So whatever I can do to help that is the side I'm on. This is the road leading up to the Tower of Terror and the Rock and the Roller Coaster section. Completely empty, which is why the reservations are really good on their part because it controls the capacity, but it also kind of opens it up with the distancing. One of the things that kind of ruined the magic for me was the closed concession stands with just the walls down they didn't move them i don't know if they can i don't know if they did it on purpose the closed concession stands and also the closed carts so the closed concession stands and the closed carts the food situation was very interesting you sit at the table you can take off your masks now they've updated it to where if you're swimming or if you're drinking or eating you can take off your mask but you have to be stationary when you drink or eating because a lot of times I was there before they updated it people would be drinking as they're walking with their mask down here whenever I drink my mask is here I pull it down to here drink my water put it right back up I did see a lot of people pulling it down and drinking as they walked which is now updated so they're good on that part trash cans were the most popular points of reminders for please keep a minimum of six feet between you and your other parties it popped up on a lot of trash cans just like this one. If there was a trash and a recycle, it would only be on one. There was only one if it was in a group or they would pop up kind of all over. There were other signs too, but I'll touch on that when it comes up. Again, these are the concessions that are closed that kind of hindered the magic for me. The line for Rock and Roller Coaster, this is the only one where I felt like the six feet distancing maybe wasn't the most achieved. They had the tape and they had the ropes with the snake, but until people are stationary, I don't think the six feet of distance is as present as it should be because people people would walk right behind you and then you get to the stopping point and then they'd be oh well let me step back that was this was the this was the first part where I was like this doesn't feel very in enforced we started haunted mansion they were cleaning so we decided to go to rock and roller coaster uh, so we rode that it was awesome we didn't have to wait for the cleaning we might have gotten there right before 
and then we want a high mansion which is here and this is where i was like okay this is right this is the line they have the tape but they also when you get to the more enclosed sections they have plexiglass separating the two lanes of i don't know what the two things are um the two lines were but they did have plexiglass separating this lane this lane plexiglass in between them with the tape on the ground once we got more in the line as you see tape on the floor kind of stopped as we were boarding so the person farthest is a different party the person right there is another party there's a space and then there's us the distance didn't really look like six feet i didn't pull out a measuring tape to measure it but that felt a little weird and then we got stuck on the tower of terror we got stuck all the way at the top um we were bouncing and i felt like we went up and down a few more times than we we're supposed to and then it kind of but yeah we got stuck on tower of terror for your safety please keep a minimum of six feet between your other party this one's exiting the restaurant section it was posted up right on a phone pole telephone pole felt very prevalent to me it was right in my eye line a little shorter the height placement and having it up tall was really good so this is also the same message that's on those trash cans i was talking about earlier this is the road walking back towards kind of the entrance area from hollywood tower tear and rock and roller coaster very open a lot of space to distance people choose the sidewalk a lot so the wait times and everything was crazy it was 10 minutes or less other than one instance which i'll get into in one second the incident right here the cast members the tape had come off the ground so they had brought out two cast members one with the tape measure and one with the tape they had the mask on the people behind him this was in the line to mickey and minnie's runaway railroad they asked the people behind hey please don't move forward we're gonna be fixing this give us one second which was interesting because these weren't the please wait here this was just white tape on the ground maybe they run out again not judging but just making that comment the tape came off so they came out with a tape measure i assume they measured it out threw down the tape took about five minutes and then they got the line uh back to moving but it was very interesting to see how they handled the tape coming up please wait and then continuing from there it's kind of snaking around so this is coming off the stage you actually go around and all through there and then once we got inside hi guys hi guys we are currently cleaning the ride there's going to be a brief delay they did give us a warning about it and there was also a gentleman outside saying hey pretty shortly in a few moments we're going to begin cleaning so there's going to be a delay made sure to tell everyone coming around which is very good I'd say we were sitting for 10 minutes. I'm not going to say 15 because that feels very elongated. But yeah, about a 10 minute sit down where we were just waiting for them to finish cleaning. It wasn't bad. We were in the air conditioning. But if you're outside and you're standing, I can also see how that could be more of a bother. But I'd rather them clean and us be safe than just get to the line quickly. Inside Mickey Minis was also an instance where I felt like it was a little less in force. Again, with the plexiglass, it wasn't there right away. So this is the section that surprised me the most. This is over by star tours and then getting into star wars land there's like nobody in there the other part i want to mention which this made me realize in the star wars area and the toy story land area and kind of all over there's not really you have the reminders on the trash cans and the poles and kind of stuff other than that people walk right next to you right by you right in front of you that kind of thing and there's a lot of sitting on the benches and stuff taking your masks off i don't know if you're allowed to take your masks off when you're sitting on the benches or anything like that but that was another thing that i noticed a lot and that pretty much wrapped up our day at hollywood studios so we got down rock and roller coaster tower of terror slinky dog dash and i think that's it we weren't really going to try to ride everything like really enthusiastically we're going because we missed disney we made reservations i think we're out there for like five four or five hours that's gonna wrap up hollywood studios episode of um the COVID experience at disney's reopening if you guys like this video, make sure to put a like down, comment what you want to know, any questions you might have about the park or anything like that, and I'll try to answer them. If you like this, subscribe. Thank you for all the love on Solidarity again. It's a very, it's a project very close to my heart, so thank you. Uh, the next episode is going to be coming out in the next few days, so make sure to look out for that. See you guys next time.